Time for great wrestling from the Olympic. I'm Jeff Walton, and we'll go ringside with our first match right after this. Here we go, wrestling fans. This is our first event on great wrestling from the Olympic. And we are looking at two of the most rugged, powerful wrestlers to come along in weeks here on great wrestling from the Olympic. The team of Ox Baker and the Enforcer. Starting for his team, the Enforcer. Boy, these men are big and powerful. I mean, this enforcer is just, where's that uh, patch over his right eye? Well, he is huge, stands about six feet five, six feet six, weighs about 285 pounds. I mean, this is a big man. Drops down on Irish Mickey Doyle out of Detroit, Michigan. Mickey Doyle, fine young wrestler. This is our first look at Mickey, and of course, uh, our first look at the Enforcer and Ox Baker. Tag off is to Baker. Oh, the heart punch specialist, Ox Baker. This man, years ago, was the cause of two wrestlers' tragic uh, demise. Uh, one was Ramon Torres, and the other was Ray Dunkel in Atlanta, Georgia. And, uh, made all the headlines of all the national papers. And, uh, he has such a vicious heart punch. And uh, he attributed to the death that this man is tough. Clubbing away outside the ring, the enforcer going to work on Irish Mickey Doyle, referee Ken Farber back there counting. The enforcer says, stay over on your side, and then back goes to work, Ox Baker. Big Ox with the uh, handlebar mustache that's quite well known in wrestling. Mickey Doyle now coming back, throwing some punches into the face, chest of uh, Ox Baker. Baker though goes to work, reverses it right into the knee of the enforcer. Now it's the enforcer in the ring. The big boys, there's no doubt about it. Oh, look at this, a double team and a slam by both the wrestlers. Knee drop to the chest of Irish Mickey Doyle. Mickey Doyle and Buddha, tag team partners for this our first event on Great Wrestling from the Olympic. It's a good one. We've got a lineup of wrestling that won't quit. We're going to see the medic, El Medical. He will be wrestling in our next event. Also coming up, we're going to see a great tag team match featuring Indian Chief Running Hill and Al Madrill. And in our main event, it's a good one. Chavo Guerrero against the South American heavyweight wrestling champion, Colossal Felicity. So stick with us. What's happening is here on Great Wrestling. Snapmare to the mat. Takedown by Irish Mickey Doyle. There's that knee drop to the throat that bounces this big man. Tag off to Buddha Khan. Buddha Khan coming in with a chin lock. The world famous Olympic Auditorium downtown Los Angeles, the scene of great wrestling for many, many a year. Whips him in Knox Baker's elbow, and now the Enforcer going to work. The Enforcer supposedly has his own jet parked out at the Hollywood Burbank Airport. And, uh, very, very wealthy, travels all over the world, never without uh, two lovely ladies uh, by his side. Knows how to live. He says he got it all from wrestling. And, uh, great demand all over. W won't explain that eye patch, though. Won't explain the purpose behind it. So maybe one day we'll try to get an interview with him and 
find out more whether it was an injury that uh, caused it or what, what the purpose of it is. Buddha Khan in the ring now. Tag off. Ox Baker, now the enforcer. Two big, big men. Look at that expression. One would choke him. Clubbing blows to the chest of Buddha Khan, now stomping. Going to work on the front chin and neck area of Buddha Khan. The tag off is to Ox Baker. Look at them. both these men. Huge, huge men, six feet five, six feet six inches. Tipping the scales at almost 300 pounds. Ox Baker, once again, known for his heart punch. From St. Louis, Missouri. Owns a big cattle ranch in those parts. St. Louis. A lot of fine wrestlers. St. Louis, Lutez, Warren Bachwinkle, a lot of top, top wrestlers of their day. Freddie Blassie was another one that started in St. Louis. Mickey Doyle making the tag, or says he made the tag, but he's forced out by referee Ken Farber. Meanwhile, Ox Baker going to work, stomping on Buddha. In case you've just joined us, this is our first event here on Great Wrestling from the Olympic. Oh, a boot right to the middle stops Budokan. The tag off to the enforcer. The enforcer rolls over before the tag is made. Was the tag made? Nope. Enforcer arm whips Buddha into the ropes and ooh, knee lift catches him, doubles him over. Now before the tag is made. Referee catches the enforcer using those ropes. Front chin lock by the enforcer. This is a big team. They're going to be a hard team to reckon with. Great wrestling from the Olympic. Buddha Khan now punching away. Gets that release. The tag almost there. And there's Really was no tag, let's see. Well, apparently it was made. Mickey Doyle now going to work on Big Ox Baker, throws him into the ropes, oh! There's a drop kick that sends Baker down to his knees. Baker kind of stunned. Nobody really takes the Big Ox off his feet. Irish Mickey Doyle did though. Mickey Doyle. Good young, whoa, right through the legs. The tag off is the Budokan, and oh, Budokan comes in hot and ready. And he's backed into the corner, and the duo of the Enforcer and Baker go to work on it. It's their trick. Get a man to come into their corner, and they've got him. Full Nelson by. The enforcer open and oh, there's that punch right to the chest. That's that vicious punch I was telling you about now with the claw to the, to the mouth. I've never seen that. I've seen it to the head and the, and the stomach, but to the mouth. Ooh. Shows you how vicious this man is. The enforcer holds him and another punch by Ox Baker. Buddha is out like a light. That's all. They won. The Enforcer and Ox Baker, the winners. We've got more wrestling coming up. Don't go away.
Muy bien, amables amigos. Well, here we go. We got a good one for you. This is the fame. The Medic, El Medico, going against Pistol Pete. This young fella in recent weeks has been just the talk of wrestling. Good reverse roll up. He's got Pistol Pete. This could be it. Oh. Pete using his weight to kick free. I told you, this El Medico. You understand he's the son of the original El Medico, wrestled many, many years in Texas and in Mexico. This young fella is just a superb athlete. Look how he stands at the ready. Wears a very unusual and different type of costume than his father did, but that's because that's the way this young fella is. El Medico. The fans love him. Now, Pete's saying that he pulled my check. That's something that probably just to beat with you, but El Medico, never. El Medico, fine wrestler out of Mexico City. Comes to the United States with a great winning record all across the various states of Mexico. And look at this, stands right at the ready. Superb athlete. Fans appreciate good wrestlers and good wrestling. El Medico is just that. Looking for a chance to, to win the America's Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. He said that's the main reason I came to the United States to get the match for the title. I believe this man has a strong contention. Leg dive and hook. Now into a reversed arm bar. Hooked. Pistol Pete. Trying to get to his feet. Oh, taken down with a fine leg scoop. Oh, come on now. Pete says he used my hair. That's not true. Arm width and drag take down. Uh, El Medico. He's still a little bit hot. Can't seem to get a hold on him. And, you know, he's got a lot of weight advantage there. Mr. Pete uh, coming in about 250. El Medico weighing in about 232 pounds. So there is at least 20, 30, maybe 40 pound weight advantage that Pete has. Cinched up. Pete trying to uh, put the figure four on him, but he's, it's El Medico that's got the arm bar on. Releasing his hold, Medico continuing to cinch up that uh, bar. Boy, we got this. Good car. Dynamite Jack Evans and the Hood. The tag team. We got Chavo Guerrero and his colossal Bolasetti as the American champion of the event. Into the mask goes Pistol Pete. And of course, we all saw that. Medico trying to get a uh, chin. Oh, the referee distracted. Pete goes into the hood again. Pistol Pete. Been around a long time. He's had a lot of wars. The winning record is, of course, is just so so. He still is a rugged competitor. Good flying leg scissors takedown by El Medico. The referee says, I didn't see him pull in here. Oh, I saw him was using flying legs and he was using the new Mr. Pizza, the glasses. Good take that by, oh, Medico. Medico. Over the years, he's seen wrestlers use the term. Technical. Of course, 
size. This is a much heavier wrestler. Head scissors by El Medico. Mr. Pete gets the break. Pistol Pete says he choked me with that scissors. I'm telling you, disqualified. Dugan says, nope, it wasn't a choke. I'm not disqualified. It was a wrestler. Here's a boot to the middle by Pete and a club to the side of the face. Hammerlock. Trying for a hot trick. Make a reversal out of this and take him down. Got him in a variation of an abdominal stretch. He's dumped off by El Medico. Now El Medico comes to work with a variation of the surfboard. The question is in the pistol beat. Submit. The history of masked wrestling, believe it or not, goes back to the year 1906 professional wrestling goes when the masked marvel appeared on the scene the very first wrestler to wear a mask in the ring since that time wrestlers have worn masks for various reasons body slam by pistol pete kipped away by the medic arm drag takedown and it's back to that arm bar and uh reversed and key good move by the medic Various masked men throughout the years. You had uh, the masked Marvel, the, the sensational destroyer, the old maskers, Mr. X, Dr. X. You name them, they've all worn masks and they've all been very colorful. Mr. M was very, very well known. In fact, Mr. M was the first masked wrestler to win the world heavyweight wrestling title. Turned out later to be Dr. Bill Miller. He was in the last time, several years after he won the last time. In fact, it was like 12 years after he became Mr. M. He was in the last All the way up until today, where we have wrestlers such as Bill Moskowitz from Mexico, the Medic, so many other sensational wrestlers that wear masks. A lot of wrestlers from Mexico, of course, wear masks. Top wrist lock takedown by El Medico. El Santo, I shouldn't forget El Santo, one of the legendary, legendary wrestlers. El Santo was never a mask, wore his mask all his life. Passed away a few years ago. Now his son continues on the tradition. Takedown by El Medico. Spreads, uh, oh, good leg dive. Pistol Pete keeps complaining. He says, he's using my trunks, he's using my hair. Good leg dive by El Medico. Cinches it up to a figure four. Trying to go to work on the uh, chin, but he's flailed out of there into the mask. You are watching great wrestling from the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles, California, the home of the world's best wrestling and the greatest wrestling stars come your way each and every time here on Great Wrestling from the Olympic. Both men stand at the ready. El Medico looks like he's in tremendous shape. Mr. Pete feeling the effects of that leg dive. There's a leg takedown. Steps over it. Oh! Sit out with the leg. Good way to tear some cartilage. Toe hold there by El Medico. Poking into the eyes of El Medico. There's a punch to the middle. Stops El Medico right in his tracks. Knee lift. Punch to the side of the head. Forearm smash by El Medico off the ropes. El Medico, arm whip, takedown. Drop kick that stops the big pistol, Pete, man. There's a second one. 
Now it's Almedico flying torquing leg scissors. There's a second one. Roll over, press, one, two. One away from a win for Almedico. An upset by Pistol Pete over Almedico would really be something. High back body drop. That's a big man to do that to. You. Coming off the ropes, there's that flying butt. Topped for one, two, three. Your winner, El Medico, on our second event. Don't go away, more wrestling coming up. fans, you are looking at the new World Tag Team Wrestling Champions, Al Madrill and Indian Chief Running Hill. They took the title from Rugged Ron Starr and The Hood. And now The Hood wants revenge. He has a new tag team partner in Dynamite Jack Evans. I know two wrestlers who would like nothing better than to get a match with Al Madrill and Indian Chief Running Hill, and that is the Enforcer and Ox Baker. We just may see them right here on Great Wrestling from the Olympic in the near future. Right now, we're looking at The Hood and his partner, Dynamite Jack Evans, and uh, both teams getting instructions about no low blows and uh, exactly uh, what to do and what not to do in the ring by the referee. Starting for their respective teams, Dynamite Jack Evans and none other than Al Madrill. And of course, Al Madrill says, I'd love to get you in the ring, Hood. Come on. I'll give you a free shot. The Hood says, I'll be in there when I want to go in there. And the fans are yelling all kinds of names at the Hood, like Chicken and things like that. And Indian Chief Running Hill pointing that uh, they would like nothing better than to get the Hood in the ring. The Hood's been doing a lot of name calling as of, well, the Hood comes in. Sure enough, guest Al Madrill. The Hood and uh, Madrill starting for their teams. Hood doesn't seem to back away from anybody. He just uh, could go behind by the Hood. Now a reversal into a hammer lock by Al Madrill. Ooh, he's trying to use an elbow. Takedown by Madrill. Only a count of two, pretty quick. Madrill at the ready. They had quite a battle when they wrestled for the tag team title, and the Hood was the cause of a lot of trouble. Drill doesn't seem to forget that. It says, now's your chance. You know, let's let's do it one-on-one. -on -one. Side headlock by the hood. Into the ropes, coming off. Good body tackle takes him down. Comes again, leap over, and a uh, flying hip toss takes him down to the mat. And the hood just kind of flails away and decides, well, I don't know, maybe I want to tag here. And, of course, Evans is saying he used the trunks, he used the trunks. Referee says, no, no, no. Come on, let's attack. I knew the hood was going to attack. I just had a feeling he had had enough. Dynamite Jack Evans, one half of the former America's Tag Team Champions, the Evans brothers with Brother Ray. Now Evans would like nothing better than to capture the World Tag Team Wrestling Championship. And I'll tell you something. Ray Evans is dangerous 100%. A razzle-dazzle. Who's got what where across the ring? Let's see. And whoa, there's a chop that missed, but the Indians didn't. And down goes Evans. Side headlock by Indian Chief Running Hill. Tags into Almadrill. Almadrill's ready. There's that headlock. And he torques away at it. Talk about making your e ears ring and hear bells. That'll do it. Not to mention a good cauliflower ear. That's how they were born years ago, those cauliflower ears. You know, you keep rubbing the side of that ear and it just begins to swell up. Boy, 
<laughs> Evans has got to be hearing birdies. There's no two ways about it. Running Hill now into the ring. Running Hill with that side headlock. There's a punch to the middle by Ray, uh, uh, Dynamite Jack Evans. Tag off, back to Al Madrill. Madrill comes in, again applies the hold. Boy, <laughs> Evans, is, like, look at Evans' face. I mean, I don't think he knows where he's car is parked about this time. <laughs> Trying to make the tag back to the masked hood. The hood, a very fast and agile wrestler. Very dangerous, very cunning. Al Madrill says, get him out of the ring. In the meantime, there's a distraction and uh, even no tag. Al Madrill takes, you know, you, you can... Uh, Play games with Al Madrill for just so long, and then Madrill will come back at you with every dirty rule that uh, you've applied on him. So it's uh, really no good to do those kind of things to Al Madrill. Madrill from San Bernardino, California. Makes his home in San Bernardino, has lived there all his life. Very proud of it. Big following in San Bernardino. California, uh, tag is a tag made, it's the hood. And the hood comes on in, they've made the tag, but now, whoa, the referee stops them and says, you go out. In the meantime, there's been no tag between Madrill and the Indian. Talk about uh, the World Tag Team Champions being KG champions, that they are. This is a time limit event. The title is not at stake. But the team of the Hood and Jack Evans would sure love to have a win over Running Hill and the Drill and then be in first place contention to get a title match. The Hood throws the Indian into that corner buckle and now they're double teaming Indian Chief Running Hill. The Hood, headlock, punch to the bridge of the nose. throws the Indian into that corner buckle and going that quick, those pads don't help one bit, believe me. Knee lift by the hood from Parts Unknown. The hood trying to throw those punches in there and whips, whips the Indian right into the corner, tags Dynamite Jack Evans. Double kick by both wrestlers. That's called double teaming. Now, Evans going to work. Knee drops to the back. Evans says, how you like that? Whoa, there's an open-handed slap that caught him off guard. The Indian's good at these judo chops and slaps. He really knows how to lay them in, and uh, that's exactly what he does. Forearm smash to the middle, the, into the corner. The hood trying to grab the hair of Oh, there's a slap right to the throat and chest. Evans now getting an advantage. Now just the brute strength of the Indian Chief trying to force him back into the ring. Trying to make the tag. Now Evans goes to work, pushes the Indian back to the corner. Reversal tag to the hood. The tag is good. Elbow to the shoulder and back of Chief Running Hill by the hood. Throwing those punches in there. Good leg scoop. Al Madrill and watching very carefully. Wants to come in, but now the hood in complete control over the Indian Chief. As I said, a winner by the the hood and uh, his partner Evans would be a big feather in their cap caps. Gotta get these teeth fixed. Dynamite Jack Evans. Good, good wrestler out of New York City, New York, with brother Ray Evans, who, by the way, is not ringside as he usually is. 
Evans now saying, hey, look, I use illegal tax. Distracting the referee, going to work on the eyes outside the ring, the hood, and Madrill comes in, tries to make a save, but he can't. He's forced back by the referee. In the meantime, Evans going to work on the Indian Chief. The hood with a butt and a forearm. Punch to the chest and to the midsection. Holding at the trunks is Dynamite Jack Evans. Now at the hair. Referee watching very closely. I'll tell you, in tag team matches, there should be two referees because it is impossible for one referee to keep his eye on all the action all of the time. In fact, the Olympic Auditorium was the very first place the tag team wrestling had two referees, and occasionally they do. A lot of times for a World Tag Team Championship match, they will post a referee in the ring and a referee outside the ring, which makes a difference 100% in the wrestling style and, and uh, the circumstances of the match. Oh, here comes the Indian Chief. Good roll up and over to Al Madrill. The tag off is made legally. Punches Dynamite Jack Evans. Al Madrill sends a punch to the hood. Now it's the hood getting the punches and Evans getting the kicks. Punch to the bridge of the nose. Al Madrill's got him in trouble. Whips him over into that corner post. Now Indian Chief and they throw them together. Both wrestlers going down. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, Madrill looks like they're gonna set him up for the shooting star. They're gonna do it. They're gonna set him up. Oh, the star's broken here. Madrill's got Evans and the hood has gone outside the ring. He doesn't want any part of this. Both wrestlers punching each other, Madrill and Evans. You don't do that to Al Madrill, as you're gonna see. Madrill, former amateur heavyweight boxing champion up in Canada. Evans loses that boxing brawl right there. He tries to make a tag, but it's the wrong man he's gonna tag, and he sees it. Open-handed judo chop, tomahawk chop to the head. Hood tries to come in illegally. Oh, and he sends a punch that hits his own partner. Down goes Evans. Evans didn't like that one bit. Glared across the ring at the Hood. The Hood's telling the fans, you know, uh, wait a minute, it was a mistake, and the fans love that. Al Madrill now looking at the Hood. Boy, the Hood doesn't like to look bad, and he sure is. Now he's going over to his partner, and gonna apologize. Hey, look, partner, it was a mistake. I didn't mean to. I meant to hit Al Madrill. <laughs> These guys are in the wrong corner as well. You know, hey, guys. Got to get out of that corner. That belongs to Madrill and uh, Indian Chief running him. They want more time is what they want. The time limit's off, but they want more time. Five more minutes is what they're asking for, and the announcer uh, doesn't know what to do. The match is a draw, but five more minutes. The referee says, well, if they both teams want it, we'll give them five more minutes. They're the world champions, so what do they do? Five more minutes, and then uh, the hood says they're chickens if they won't give us five more minutes. Now Al Madrill asks the fans, and we'll give five more minutes. Yep, five more minutes. They're gonna have five more minutes. All right, let's go. The match is restarted. Here we go. More time in this match, five more minutes. The bell sounds, and here we go. Now we start off with Al Madrill and Evans. Evans, uh, both wrestlers conferring, Madrill and uh, and the end of, they're saying our titles are not at stake, but we have put up five more minutes. They want the titles. Look at this. For leverage, the hood outside the ring had a hold of the trunks of Dynamite Jack Evans. I don't know what kind of leverage he was supposedly going to get. Madrill going to work, punching, and oh, look at this. Madrill sending those jabs in there. And uh, Dynamite Jack Evans, again, is foolish enough. Whips him into the ropes, sending punches into Madrill, and there's a uh, whip across the ring into the ropes. Knee lift that doubles up Al Madrill. Now they figure they got him in trouble. There's that knee to the throat by 
Evans, another one. Forearm blow to Madrill. They've got Madrill out. They stake him out. Evans holds him. Now the hood coming off that second strand. It ropes right onto the chest of Al Madrill. Count one, two, just for a count of two. Remember, this is the overtime of the match. We don't see that too often. Usually when a match is over, it's over. But we got overtime here. Knee lift to the middle of Almadrill. They got him worn down. I think those knee drops really hurt. Indian Chief Running Hill trying to come in, save his partner. Double teaming by the Indian Chief, or the uh, Dynamite Jack Evans and the Hood. Evans takes him out, and the Indian Chief is in. Illegally, but they go to work and they grab Madrill, who can't make the tag. Madrill kind of dazed as to where he is after those blows. Punched to the face by the hood. Holding Madrill now. Hood goes to work, sets him down. Now the referee distracted. The hood goes to work, choking. Indian Chief Running Hill starts to come in. The referee pushes him back, and of course this leads to an illegal tag by Dynamite Jack Evans as he throws Madrill out of the ring, and they go to work on him outside. Madrill now outside the ring, getting chopped, and he runs Madrill into those front row seats. Everyone's outside. We got a war going outside the ring. Dynamite Jack Evans in the hood inside the ring. Indian Chief Running Hill starts to come back in to go after the hood. Referee back on the apron inside the ring. Al Madrill now coming back. Throws Dynamite Jack into those front row seats. In the meantime, it's the Indian and the hood in the ring. And it's the world champions now in complete control. The Indian judo chop to the hood. Tops him, one, two, only a count of two. I don't think we've ever seen the hood pinned on television, ever. Come to think of it, I've never seen the hood pinned. The tag is made, Alma drills in the ring, whips the hood into the ropes, and there's that flying body tackle. One, two, only a count of two by Alma Drill. Grabbed at the tights, taken into the ropes by Dynamite Jack Evans. Chief Running Hill with that toe hold sit out. Goes to work on it. There's that Indian leg lock. Question is in, but oh, Evans comes right down on the Indian. There's an elbow and nobody there. Fans are on their feet. They love this match. Clubbing blows to the back by Alma Drill. Oh, there's a punch right to the chest. Punch to the middle by the Indian. Now the referee can disqualify all four men or he can keep the match going. And seeing as how this is overtime, I really don't know what he's gonna do. Alma Drill in the ring there against Dynamite Jack Evans. Punches away at the mouth and chest. A punch to the middle and stomping is the Indian. That's a figure four Indian death lock. Stands up with it. It's made. It is made. That's an Indian death lock. The, com the question is into the hood. And oh, off the ropes comes Evans. And that breaks it. That Indian death lock. Boy, once that's applied, you can't break it. Jack Evans did, though, by coming in the ring illegally. Chief Running Hill trying to set that leg lock again, but he can't do it. The hood trying to climb away and outside the ring. Dynamite Jack Evans with an elbow onto the Indian Chief. Tops him for only not even a count of one. That's the five minute signal. The match is stopped. Let's see what the announcer says. Yeah.
Oh, wait a minute. we go this is our big main event and it's a good one it's Chavo Guerrero against Colossal Colasetti the Argentine heavyweight champion let me tell you something wrestling fans you are looking at two of the most respected and of course different styled wrestlers in the world today Chavo Guerrero out of Mexico and Colossal Colasetti from Buenos Aires Argentina and Colasetti's style is so unusual and so different but Chavo Guerrero said, this is a big chance for me because if I can defeat Colossal Colasetti, I will, of course, be in number one contention for the America's Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. And all wrestlers want a title. And, of course, Chavo Guerrero is no exception. He wants a belt and uh, figures that a win over Colasetti would put him right there in the number one spot. Colasetti, of course, thinks the same. Good reverse wrist lock into a hammer lock by Colasetti. Colasetti has held the America's Heavyweight Championship before and been a very proud holder. In fact, he took the title belt back to Argentina for two weeks and defended the America's title down there and successfully then came back here and uh, lost the title. Uh, but now he's on a campaign to get the belt back again. Chavo Guerrero just complete handstand, headstand, and gets out of that hold. Armbar and whip by Chavo Guerrero. Top wrist lock by Guerrero. He's got it staked out. Of course, got the boot right onto the side of the chin of Colasetti. That's illegal. That's, I mean, that is legal. That is a legal wrestling hold, as long as it's not a choke with the boot. Chavo Guerrero, good keyed wrist lock. Now inserts the arm. Locks it, locks it, cinches it. Make sure that uh, it's where he wants it. Colasetti tries to kick away, but he's grabbed again. Now Colasetti escapes, rakes at the eyes, which is par for the tactics of Coloso Colasetti. Whips him into the ropes. Oh, a forearm that stopped Guerrero. Colasetti, you know, in the recent weeks that he's been here, he gets more vicious each and every week. And his ring style, to me, is so unusual. He will have a hold break the hold and just glare at his opponent. Stand there, spread his arms, and glare at an opponent. And it's, it throws the opponent completely off guard to where Colasetti then will use a counter hold and uh, win his matches. Former South American heavyweight wrestling champion, former Argentinian uh, heavyweight champion. Uh, the man is uh, a master of many, many holds and of course he hasn't wrestled in the United States for that long a time mostly in uh, Mexico and South America and uh, he's just now adapting to the style of the American way of wrestling wrestled uh, also briefly in Texas and he plans another tour of Texas very shortly but of course his first move is to try to win that America's heavyweight wrestling championship Armbar, leg scissors combination by Chavo Guerrero. Colasetti escapes. Look at this, takes the arm, puts it underneath the leg, and of course whips the leg right around. That's a very good hold. It's a variation of a rack. Look how he's keyed that up. Good move, good submission hold. Guerrero sitting out on his back. And of course, that's what Cola said he wants. If he can keep Guerrero down, shoulders will be pinned, the referee will count, and he'll win. It's that simple. Two, count of two. Cola said he very close to a win there. Chin lock by Colossal Cola said he. Guerrero, Lito Bridges, tries to send a forearm into the head. Open-handed slap, side headlock by Colasetti, and a punch right to the throat. Colasetti being warned about using those fists. 
there's comes back working on the nerve and neck muscles of Chavo Guerrero. Guerrero again out of a fine, fine wrestling family. And I mean a family. You talk about you know, maybe a brother wrestling or a sister wrestling or a father wrestling. Guerrero's got three brothers that wrestle and his father's a former world junior heavyweight wrestling champion. So you're talking family. And of course, uh, Chavo's got a very younger brother that's just turned 17 that uh, will be wrestling very soon. So soon there'll be four Guerrero brothers wrestling. They can have a six-man tag team of their own pretty much pretty soon. There were two other brothers. Variation of the rack. Chavo Guerrero applying the hold. Dumped over. Roll up by Guerrero. Stance at the ready. Snap mare. Guerrero goes back to work on that neck. Chavo Guerrero. Chavo has been a globe-hopping wrestler for many a year, wrestling in New Zealand, Australia, Hong Kong, Japan, Europe, and Canada, and uh, various states in the United States, including Florida, and, uh, Oklahoma, and Louisiana, and Texas, and, uh, of course, right here in Los Angeles, California, at the Olympic Auditorium, the home of great wrestling, no doubt about it. Punches to the middle. Punches to the face. Colosetti now coming back. Elbow to the back of the neck. Colosetti coming back, working on the nerve muscles. Into the ropes. There's a knee lift straight in. Wait a minute, on the ropes, illegally coming into the ring, untying a corner buckle is Colasetti's mentor, Bo Ramos. Chavo Guerrero runs over, sees Ramos, now go trying to stop Ramos from untying that buckle. Ramos now coming in the ring, illegally going after, he's got his hair. There's that hair that Chavo Guerrero had a few weeks ago, we saw it. The, the referee's counting, and I'm sure Chavo Guerrero's going to be counted out, but Ramos wanted his hair back. Ramos has been shamed. He lost his hair in the match. The winner is Colosso Colasetti, and Colasetti can't even figure out why he won. Here's Jimmy Lennon. Enjoying great wrestling from the Olympic. I'm Jeff Walton. We'll see you all next time.